channel, Innovative Amazing Science. I hope and believe that you are doing great. So am I. And I am super excited to share with you all another fun-loving experience of mine. It was a sunny day and I was very busy doing my homework. I heard the doorbell ringing. So I rushed to open the door and see who was it. The moment I opened the door, I saw a lady, but I did not understand who she was. By the time my mama came and she was just super excited seeing the lady and she called her Rachel. I was thinking who this lady is, by then I got an idea that she was none other than a school friend. They both enjoyed thoroughly and they were just talking and talking and talking. I thought, let me not disturb them. Let me go to the kitchen and make juice. So I took some sugar, cold water and lime of course. And then I kept on stirring the sugar in the water round and round and round. But it was taking much time. By then, my mama came to the kitchen and she just smiled. She asked me to wash the glasses so that we can offer the juice. So I was busy washing the glasses. By then, the juice was ready. At the back end of my mind, I was thinking how fast she made the juice. But after that, we all enjoyed and aren't left for the day. So, I asked a question to my mama that why the juice you prepared took very less time as compared to my juice. So, she just smiled and said, it's magic. I did not understand the magic because the concept of this magic was out of my mind. Then she said, you used cold water, I used hot water. So I was thinking, oh, is it that you gave Rachel aunt hot juice? She said, no, my darling, I did not give Rachel aunt hot juice. I just took some water, uh, maybe it was lukewarm water, a little hot water, and I kept on mixing the sugar in that hot water and later I added chilled water. And it took less time. And she started explaining me diffusion and all those stuff. And she said to me that if you are taking hot water, the sugar particles will dissolve faster as compared to the cold water. So I was a little excited, but still I was confused that hot juice and cold juice, how is that? But after mixing the chilled water to that little amount of hot water, which was mixed with the sugar, the entire juice became cold. And it was chilled, of course. So later I thought, let me do this again. But I will not take the sugar. And I was in grade 4, where for the first time, we were introduced to start our writing work using the pen. And I was using a fountain pen. And my father had purchased an ink bottle for me. So I thought, let me just try putting this ink and I would say I was successful. So I thought, let me just share out my experience with y'all. Are you ready to do the same experiment? Let's get started. The things required are two glasses, cold water, hot water and ink. I have taken ink. If you have any food coloring agent also, you can take that. So first I am going to fill this glass with the water, that is the cold water, normal water. Then to this glass I will fill with the hot water.
do is I'll just take this ink and carefully drop it. One or two drops is sufficient. You just observe what is happening. This is the cold water and this is the hot water. Carefully observe. So in the hot water, in this hot water, we can clearly see the color dissolves nicely, but not in the cold water. Why? This is actually the diffusion. When the temperature increases, the particles move randomly, so the intermolecular spaces between them also increases and the particles are more energetic in this hot water. But in this cold water, Diffusion happens, but the rate is very slow. Now, just to test it, in both the cases diffusions are happening, but in the hot water, the diffusion rate is faster. In the cold water, the diffusion rate is slow. So, what I am going to do is, I will take a pencil, I will just mix it. After mixing, what do we observe? The kinetic energy of the particle is increased, so the diffusion also increased. That means the rate of diffusion is directly proportional to the kinetic energy of the particles. Kinetic energy is directly proportional to the temperature. So, whenever the temperature is increased, the rate of diffusion also increases. If you enjoyed the experiment, do like it and do not forget to press the bell icon which is right there on your screen. And if you want to share your experience through an experiment, do share with me in the comment section or you can just write a mail to me so that in my future experiments, I can share your experience. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.